Hello fellow Rusty Rangers. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA in my eight, scratch that, 16 foot Coachman Clipper Cadet. 16 CFB is the number. It's 16 feet and that is the bed. It's a comfortable bed. I love the bed. It's very comfortable. However, making the bed is a process from hell, okay? Getting the fitted sheet on this bed is a pain in the rear end okay you got to lift this mattress up and do this and pull that and you finally get this end hook and that one cut this one comes off and all of that but anyway and I've got a uh, actually I have a, a strap uh, a bungee card under here with a with a tarp clip on one side and on the other to keep the sheet from coming off there but it's a pain in the rear to make the bed now, as most of you know, I am transitioning October the 23rd to a Casita 17-foot Freedom Deluxe. And it has a dining room area that makes into a bed very similar to this, other than it's rounded. You know what I mean? And I'm not worried about the shape of, or any of that stuff. And it comes with those little 4-inch you know, pads that you put down to make the bed when the dining room table's down. You RVers know what I'm talking about. Now, my question is thus. I want to come up with a solution so that I don't have to do this anymore, this crawling over here and lifting that and pulling that and all that crap. I want a very simple bed solution or bedding solution. Now, as far as a mattress, I'm going to leave this mattress in this RV, okay? Now, for the, for the casita, of course, it doesn't come with a mattress, but it comes with those little pads, and they may be adequate, but I doubt it. But I'm looking for the final solution, because I'm 73 years old, and making that bed is a pain in the rear end, okay? Getting that fitted sheet on there uh, so that it doesn't come off while I'm sleeping, because it doesn't come off when I'm not sleeping there. It doesn't do that. No, no, no. It waits till about 3 a.m. and then one of them pops off. Okay? So having said that, those of you that have beds that are trapped in your RV where you can't go around them and make the bed, if you have come up with a solution of some kind, whether it's another type of mattress or whatever, I thought about getting a you know, like a memory foam pad, you know, a four inch pad. But even then, if you put a, 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 foam, uh, put a, a fitted sheet on it, that if it fits reasonably, uh, you know, that, those foam pads aren't sturdy enough to, uh, you know, stay down. You know what I mean? It, it would actually lift up wind of the, of the foam pad. Now, I thought about getting clips. They make sheet clips, okay? I've looked at all kinds of them, and I've tried different ones. Well, hell, there it's just... It's ten times harder to get the clips on. You know, you got to get the clips in the corner there, in the corner here, in the corner there, the corner there. What I finally came up with after much ado was that bungee card and those what they're, they're called tarp clips, T-A-R-P tarp clips. However, that's a pain in the rear too because you got to get the tarp clip on the sheet on each side. Then you got to get the bungee card under the mattress and hook to that tarp clip and then pull it all the way under here and pull it tight and hook it to this tarp clip over here. Okay, got my point? You see what happens is all of a sudden you got a job. Well, I don't want a J-O-B. I am R-E-T-I-R-E. -E -E. Well, I'm retired. However you spell it, you know what I mean. So what are my options, guys? For those of you that have RVs that have a trapped mattress like this one is, as you can see, there it is in the corner or the front of the RV all by itself. And that is the only issue that I'm dealing with. But I thought, well, you know, since I'm going to be changing RVs, now's the time to come up with a solution that you don't have to dread washing the sheets because you got to put them back on the bed. Okay? So anyway, if you all have it, now again, the clips, I, that ain't going to work. Uh, the thing that I have now, the, the bungee card with the tarp clip that holds the sheet, and it's got the little hole where you hook the bungee card. No, 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 no. It works. That works. It works here now. Fine. It works. However, it is a pain in the rear, and I ain't going to do it if I just have to throw a sheet out there on the, in, the, in, the, in the casita. 
and I may do that, but I, I may come up with a way to just throw a, a flat sheet on the bottom and, and just get me some little clips of some kind to hold the sheet in position, you know, some pretty powerful little clips of some kind, and then, and then just put the top sheet on top of that and go with that. You know what I mean? And then if I have to get me a, uh, a foam pad or some kind of a mattress to go on top of the cushions, uh, I'll do that. But anyway, guys, if you have some input, positive input, okay, and, you know, humor is wonderful. I love humor, but if you come up with anything useful, I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, from Central Texas, USA, on a Saturday afternoon, got little rain showers around, not like you people have in the Carolinas, a little hurricane. But yeah, if you got something, let me know. Uh, if you've come up with a solution, I can't imagine what it is because I've looked at all kind of different clips and none of those are going to work. Forget clips. Uh, 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 there was one company that made a, 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 a solution that, you know, it's one thing. It's got a sheet and all that. It's all one package. And no, that ain't going to work. I don't want to sleep in it. And, and remember, I live in Texas where it gets hot. And I'm here a lot when it's hot. So, you know, I need sheets most of the time. Now, in the winter, of course, I can put a comforter. You know, I can have a comforter somewhere where I can reach it. I can do all that stuff. I got plenty of pillows. I got pillows, baby. Now, I may not have anything else, but I got pillows. So, yeah, so if you got an idea, uh, just sit, shoot me a comment, and uh, maybe I can do it. But if you've, if you've come up with something that, ma that makes a, one of these trapped beds, Easy to make for a 73-year-old man. I'd appreciate it. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything your little heart desires anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it helps me pay for the casita. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't cost you a penny. But what else? Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Think positive, keep your health, do all that stuff, and come up with a solution. This is a twin bed. Okay, now in the in the casita, you know it's you, you know you've seen the Freedom Deluxe, you know where the dining room table folds down. And it's got that whole area. Of course, you've got the rounded corners. And I know they make a mattress that fits in there perfectly. That doesn't solve poo poo, because you still have to get the sheets on that mattress. Okay, that's my problem. That's my problem. But anyway, anyway, guys, you got something? Shoot me a comment. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.